overdenture in removable prosthesis. Overdenture is has very unique advantage over conventional denture. And overdenture could be used on remaining teeth or recently implant retain overdenture are very common treatment option for the patient. For patient like this has mandibular two teeth has root canal treated already but to get a crown the root itself are not sound enough so therefore instead of removing or extracting all the remaining teeth we decide to use as overdenture abutment and this as using the remaining root after endo treated we're going to attach the attachment over the remaining root. Therefore, the denture constructed over on top of this root called the over denture. We're going to also discuss about the advantage and disadvantage in the middle of the presentation. But as you notice, since we are not going to remove remaining teeth, therefore, the preserve preserving the alveolar ridges around the root are maintained. So it's preserve, preservation of the ridge are one of the advantage. And also it keeping the height of the vertical height around the retaining root. And be, due to the attachment, it will provide better stability and the retention. So make sure the retaining root does not have any pathology around it. Endodontic treatment was already performed before. Now, this is the special drill for the locator attachment that we use in our school. So this is showing you drilling, preparing for post space. These post space lengths are depends on remaining root lengths. And make sure you need to keep 4 to 5 millimeter apex gutter percha not involved. We prepare the post space on both tools. And this is the shape. After we complete the post space. And this is the locator attachment, one of the bowl type attachment that we use in our school. Initially, there's a depth reference ring on the top, so you can move up and down. And in the pilot drill, you determine the how much, how deep the length the post will be. And after that, you need to have a countersink drill to prepare the stop for the post. And the post will be cemented into the retaining root. And this locator attachment, this will go into the remaining root. And this portion will go onto the denture. And these, there are mechanical undercut locking mechanism between this female and male portion, which is male portion is plastic with small uh, different amount of undercut. Locator attachment does also provide the three different posts depends on the angle of retaining root because you want to make both make it as a parallel each other when you prepare so it depends on the angulation you may use 10 or 20 degree angled post for the locator attachment and these are the diameter. So the post length, width, and this on top portion are all same, regardless of the degree. And as I said, there are different retention amount, least, medium, and heavy retention. So it depends on what the patient wants. You may choose one of it. We are cementing with the resin cement this post 
locator post onto the retaining root and the light cure. Make sure you prescribe the gel cam is 0.4% stannous fluoride gel to reduce or minimize the recon caries and wet, which is one of the main disadvantage or main number one failure of this retaining root overdenture uh, are caries on retaining root. So therefore, you prescribe fluoride gel a patient use this gel over the denture around the root area only. First, you need to deliver a denture without pickup. The pickup process is on the denture, making attachment of this male portion of the locator. The white one is a protected sleeve. So you need to protect the ring around the locator attachment. And then you put the metal cap seated onto the attachment. This is a checking, make sure there are space around the denture. So now denture is check, make sure there's enough room. This one video showing you when the space are not enough, then you need to drill the space, enough space so there's no contact between the metal and the denture. This procedure could be eliminated when we fabricate digitally. So I will explain it to you a little bit later. So the conventional denture has to be grounded out to create the space. This is a self-cure resin applied on both sides and then pick up directly intraorally. After self-cure acrylic set, then we're going to remove internal uh, blue black color sleeve out, and then you place desired retention cap. So this is removing the protection cap, and depends on how much retention you want, there's a blue, pink, white color of retention ring, and you place onto that one. Now this one has a clip and secure the retention. So that's a locator pickup. So this is a picture of rear case. Denture was delivered first. You do the tissue check a week later, make sure there's no sore spot from the denture and then you schedule for pickup locator attachment. As you notice there are space already provided because we use this is a CAT CAM printed denture and this is the metal cap that's supposed to be secure onto the denture. So to attach this one is called the locator pickup process. And again, this is the same patient has a locator are cemented onto the retaining root. And this is the denture is fabricated and is now is picked up the attachment. And that's the final picture of the patient. There are several advantages on over denture. First, retaining teeth provide psychological stimulation to maintain alveolar bone around the roots and prevention of further bone loss is probably the most important advantage. It's called the preservation of retain, remaining roots, uh, remaining alveolar bone. Vertical dimension is maintained by the retaining supporting roots also. So the height of around the area that has retaining roots on, the height will not be resolved. Be careful, we're not talking about vertical dimension of occlusion. Overdenture is nothing to do with the vertical dimension of occlusion. It's just vertical dimension of the alveolar bone around are maintained. Now the patient also not become totally dangerous. So psychological consideration for the patient is, is benefit. They feel they still have their own teeth. 
and then your stability and retention and support are increased. And you may already know that the combination syndrome or the Kelly syndrome, well, we could prevent happening combination syndrome because implant placed on the lower arch will preventing consequence of combination syndrome happening in the future. Now it is possible to obtain great improved retention due to the attachment and also as I mentioned you could select the level of retention depends on the patient need. There's also disadvantage. Total fee will be higher since the endodontic therapy and attachment cost will be added and there's a little more time involved in laboratory and chair side procedure due to the pickup process and additional step and also the retaining root may weaken the denture due to the area around the locator attachment I usually thinner due to the hollowing out or grinding out to for the pickup process so it's, it's tend to weaken the denture due to the retaining root now you could make over denture on implant it commonly we place only two on the mandibular in the student clinic all right on implant is placed surgically and above the attachment and the cap are exactly identical as we discussed and securely picked up and pickup process are exactly identical as either on the root or implant patient came fully dangerous first thing is you need to take denka impression maxillary mandibular to fabricate surgical stent. So this is the impression of maxillary and mandibular impression on the denka tray. Now we got the surgical stent and now this is doing performing the implant surgery itself based on the surgical stent. Commonly, they place 22 and 27 area, which is canine area, due to the good bony uh, contour. They place implant and make sure you check the position. Now, uh, implant is placed. And then we wait for four months. Implant is integrated we uncover and after uncover they place locator attachment on implant and the pickup process are as discussed is, is identical so that's how you fabricate implant over denture regarding two implant retain over denture there's consensus statement already published in 2012. And in the statement, there's a two symposium held, one in Canada, one in the UK. And there's a substantial body of evidence available to demonstrating the patient satisfaction and quality of life with implant over denture mandibular, significantly higher than conventional denture meaning two implant over denture is not the gold standard of implant therapy it is the minimum standard that should be sufficient for most people so this consensus statement is having two implant over denture in mandible are much better service for your patient and then in the 2004 there's a publication compare different attachment type which attachment will be best for the two implant over denture and this is a 10-year randomized clinical study and they compare 36 uh, edentrous patient 
to, of course, the two implant overdenture, but they had they made a three different attachment system: ball, magnets, or and bars. So this, uh, these are three different attachment system, and they look at the retention and mechanical and soft tissue complication recorded and see which one will serve it better. Out of three uh, different systems, the ball group, ball group scored best in relation to retention of the overdenture, soft tissue complication, and patient satisfaction. And locator attachment are fall into ball group. So that's the reason why our school used the locator attachment for implant overdenture. Conventional overdenture has some disadvantage. Conventionally, the pickup locator are very complicated procedure due to the grinding on the denture. You need to grind the denture to provide enough space for the metal cap. And because of grinding procedure, the thickness become weakened or is reduced so therefore, it's very common that has denture broke around this attachment unit. So it needs the reinforcement, meaning many implant overdenture constructed in the past with a metal reinforcement due to the breakage. These disadvantages are not true on the CAT CAM overdenture. So what happened is all this attachment make this portion much thinner or sometimes even perforate to the outside on conventionally fabricated denture because you need to grind it out this much space and then that leading into the breakage or perforation on the conventional denture which the denture is already fabricated without consideration of this space. CAT CAM denture therefore they consider the exact space. They calculate the space because they know the how big is the housing space. Therefore, the thickness are pre-calculated and controlled. Patient received the implant place, and four months later, the implant is all integrated. Then you attach locator, appropriate height of locator attached onto the implant. So this is what you're going to see in the removable section. Now you need to take the impression or wash impression if uh, trying already made. And this is a tray, this is a heavy body. First to fabricate the custom tray. And when you take this implant impression, you don't need the impression coping. You just leave it everything in there, which is locator. So that's why you see the locator imprint on the heavy body. And you prepare for the tray, which is any heavy touching portion you need to grind it out, along with the around the implant portion. You also need to provide enough room for the wash impression later on. This is a light body, fast setting light body PVS impression. We call the imp wash impression. And maxillary wash impression mandibular wash impression is taken so that's this is the final impression and now you could clearly notice the locator attachment shown on the impression now we need to separate the posterior piece to determine the cr and the vertical dimension so this is what you notice maxillary mandibular separate the posterior piece out and identify the centric relation by doing the Gothic eyes tracing. And you take the bite in between and you measure the vertical dimension. That's how you complete the step procedure. Now on the digital, as I mentioned, the CAT CAM implant adventure will calculate precise space for the locator attachment. So this is the image that is already made a space for the metal cap. So this is the original implant attachment shape. So this is the exact size of locator attachment, but you want the bigger space for the cap. 
So now you notice there's a large space are attached on. So you, once you click, it provides precise space for the attachment metal cap. And then on top of it is final denture design constructed. Therefore, during the pickup appointment, there's no need to grinding procedure on the denture. And this is the actual image of a case design having two space for the metal cap for the pickup later on without grinding out the acrylic. As I mentioned, CAPCAM denture will calculate how much thickening of the acrylic around this attachment. So this is the thickness checkup. Make sure that it has a provide two and more than two millimeter space provided around this area. So that has a proper strength of material by providing enough thickness around the attachment area. So when you receive the try-in, try-in will have a space already provided. So there's no grinding needed when you do deliver this try-in. You check the try-in and make sure you evaluate the aesthetic and occlusion with the try-in denture and final denture is order and process printed and this is the final denture picture and observe see that there's a space are already planned in the final printed denture and this is the final view and you deliver this denture patient wear without attachment connected for one week or more so that you adjust all the sore spot of this complete denture first then you perform a week later when the patient has no sore spot you pick up locator as I shown before and this is after patient got the pickup of the locator attachment when it's completed I'd like to share with you advantage of digitally fabricate this uh, space created denture. This particular patient visited multiple office before he visit USC. He got implant place in Mexico and but the denture he received in Mexico got broken while he using a few months. So he was looking for new uh, implant over denture but the other office are all rejected and this is a, a unique imp implant which we don't have information about what they place in Mexico and uh, but they place four implant no name no information regarding this implant and this is, implant is much smaller than uh, our regular implant we use at the school. So because of these four posts sticking out, the local practice, practice that the dental office that he visit, they refuse to service because if you imagine that if you don't know what the implant is, you can get the components. The second, just making the denture also is very complicated because you imagine that you are grinding out these four spaces on the conventionally fabricated denture it will weaken the denture and it will crack it later on and that's what had happened to his original implant over denture so due to the, all this complication the patient practitioner doesn't want to treat her treat him to making the denture so that's the reason he came um, i came to the school because i had been to four other dentists in the last year each of them would not touch or help me with my dental problems. I basically, my dentures have, over the years have basically fallen apart and broken. But these other dentists would not help me or do anything to either just a denture or implants were basically out of, out of the question for, for me. And finally one doctor referred me to this school here 
They said that they had the state-of-the-art techniques and everything that I would need. Uh, it was really unusual because the other doc, the other places where I went, they just didn't really have the techniques that I needed. We used the Denka tray, took the impression, similar as what I just showed you before. And this is the impression scan image. And as you notice, there are four long posts. And now in the computer, we generate the, just enough space to compensate the metal post. As we all agree that we don't have information about the implant, so we are not going to use any attachment directly connecting to implant. We just fabricate complete denture with the space around this metal post. So again, no attachment. So we don't call this implant over denture, although we made regular denture with the enough space to compensate metal post space. And that's what we fabricated. So this is what you're going to see, space creation. And this is the final denture design. And we did the try-in, make sure the denture fits well in regarding aesthetic and occlusion. Again, patient could wear this one as a temporary use, kind of testing denture. And we fabricate complete denture, maxillary, and the mandibular printed. It looks uh, same as regular denture, except on the mandibular side, there are four spaces. I will show you. Uh, so this is the occlusion of the denture is made. And when you look at carefully on the lower, there are four space. One, two, three, four space are already planned and provided for the four metal post, which has come from his uh, implant. So when you deliver this denture, there's no fear of grinding out the acrylic to accommodate the implant post because we already create the space in design. How, how was it? It's been great. Uh, not only do I have good-looking dentures, they're functional. I can eat uh, just about anything. I've never been able to eat peanuts in 15 years. I know that sounds ridiculous, but, you know, I just could not eat them. There's many things I couldn't eat. Steak, uh, corn on the cob. I mean, I have no pain when I'm chewing. Um, but not just looks, That's the, my previous dentures were more looks than anything else. Uh, and I'm very, very happy. I mean, I've had no sores, no, no problems at all. And, uh, you know, I'm <laughs> amazed. Uh, they fit better than when I had the implant. <laughs> so this is how we ended fabricating denture as i said we did not connect because we didn't have it we couldn't find a proper attachment for this implant which he got it in mexico so cat cam over denture as a great advantage is no adjustment needed during the pickup process it because of that one it provides idea base thickness so there's no fear for breaking off no metal reinforcements are needed and just as other CAT CAM denture, it's easy maintenance, including second set of denture service without any visit because we have a digital file. And that means a permanent record for the future for the patient service. Well, this would be our last lecture series. And I'd like to add one last comment. What makes a good life? Well, if you wonder about the answer for this question, please take a look at the TED conference talk by Robert Wardinger.
and it's the answer is relationship it having the good relationship between your fat among your family among your friends among your colleagues any question please email me and thk at usc.edu